hi welcome to free spirit and welcome to a close-up review of my new deck that i just purchased the cosmic dancer oracle i saw this just it had me at cosmic dancer and i pre-ordered it so i just got it i've been playing with the cards they're gorgeous i have to say i think it's one of my favorite purchases i have purchased during this quarantine time where i went to town and bought all these decks i think it's my number one fave cosmic dancer oracle so i did not know the cards they didn't even have pictures i saw this image i heard cosmic dancer oracle saw that it had me at hello it had me at cosmic dancer so this is from sedona Soulfire, and tess whitehurst there are 44 cards in here and I love what it just says on the back. I flipped it over. All is one, all is divine, and everything dances. Yeah, we're all cosmic dancers. I mean, that's what I felt. I felt, aren't we all cosmic dancers, right? And um, what a divine time for this to come out. So this is from Blue Angel. Um, so I did take a peek at the cards already tonight, but um, I'll show you. The guidebook is really good. It's pretty thick. It has black and white pictures in here. And it will go on for like a page or two with an elaboration of a meaning. And um, so at the end, I'll do a bonus reading at the end to give you an idea. Ooh, be a channel to give you an idea of what it's like. Okay, for, I have to say, I love the artwork. I love the messages. They're not the usual messages on Oracle decks that you usually see. It is so up my vein, in my vein. I absolutely love this deck. I love the backs of the cards. I was like hooting and hollering when I saw the backs because they took the image of the of the guidebook and of the deck that I love. That's the backs of the cards. I mean, is that stunning? I love that image so, so, so much. And I'm so glad that that's at the actual backs of the cards. They're not gilded, 44 cards. And the card stuck, I have to say, it almost feels like two cards in one. It's really thick as far as Oracle card decks go uh, noticeably thick because I usually don't mention cardstock unless it's really thin or really thick and um, I, it's noticeably thicker that it almost felt like two when I opened it so I really like that they're gonna last a really nice and they also feel really good shuffling and everything else but I love the image the artwork is so gorgeous I love the artwork I love the messages I'm just saying that now they are gonna be out of order because I just was uh, using them tonight and then i realized let me do a video because um yeah i love 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 as you see the hearts i love 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 this deck i love it love it love it um this is devote and look at all the hearts here look at the boat full of hearts look heart 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 i mean i just love this devote um i love the messages i love the artwork here's find your motivation with the bow and arrow it's beautiful and dancing it's all like dancing cosmic dancer <laughs> Um, find your motivation and the borders change see how here it's like yellow give and receive here it's like a bluish improvise really love this consciously complete I love this look at the illumination of the heart consciously complete I love everything about it I love the artwork I love how the artwork lends to the actual meaning too Fine tune, surrender and trust. I love the images. I love the colors. Um, I'm gonna say a love a lot because I, I swear, I think this is, as I was playing with this tonight, I was like, I think this is my new favorite deck that I've gotten in the last couple of months or so where I went to town and bought all these decks when we were in lockdown. Honor the cycles, look at this. Honor the cycles, just gorgeous. I love, love, love. Communicate with spirit. Look at this card. I love the messages. You know, it's not the usual that you see. I love it's so in my vein and probably in your vein too if you're watching this. Communicate with spirit. I love this image. Look at this. Honor the process. Is that gorgeous? Honor the process. Butterfly transformation. And look at this. Be a channel. I love, love, love this card with the trees in the back and she's a tree. Look at the branching out. Her hands are opening up and forming like branches and the illumination here. Be a channel. I think this is like my favorite, one of my favorite cards in this deck. I love this card so much. I love it. Be a channel. Look in the mirror. 
At the end, I'll pull a card for us and read from the guidebook so you get a taste of what the message. Oh, look, another tree. Oh, I love when they use trees and consult your body's wisdom and look at all the chakras. I love the colors in here also. Honestly, assess. Honestly, assess. Look at that. I love this. Play. I love that. So pretty. Stretch and expand. I love how it's literally stretching and expanding. You really honor the lineage. Notice the pattern. Notice the pattern. Be magnetized. I love the colors. Be authentic. Be fluid. Take the lead. How pretty. Feel. Give birth. See how the borders change too? I love the messages. Offer. So the backs of the cards, what's on the deck is offer. How stunning. Choreograph. I love this. Yeah, it often feels like it's two cards, but it's not. Master the dance. I love that. Master the dance. Master the dance. Summon the rain. Commit. I love that with the leg. Make mistakes. Practice daily. Oh, I love this. The more you look at it, the more you get. I mean, I just, I love, all, I really love these cards. I know I keep saying that. Collaborate, look how stunning. I love the way that they, I love the art, I love the colors. And I also love the artwork and how it represents the meaning on the card. You know, I love the co collaborate and then the light shooting from all of them. I, I mean, I really do. I appreciate that in all of them. Look at this. Come back to center. Come back to center. Sparkle and shine. Uh-oh, I think I might be running out of juice. Slow down with the snail. <laughs> Tap into primal power. Retreat and recharge. As we retreat and recharge, let me see if I can plug in my... Thing here. Hold on a second. I think I have a wire. I'm running out of uh... Oh, here I have a thing. Oh no. Oh shoot. Hold on a second. What happens is now my camera is running out of juice. When it says time to retreat, uh, retreat and recharge, I need to. Let's see if I can plug this in. Hopefully this will work. Oh no. Oh no. Hopefully this will, will stay in. Flow with divine timing. Flow with divine timing. Look at her dancing on top and the sun and the moon. This is gorgeous. We have create the sacred space. She's in there. So beautiful. Celebrate growth and breakthroughs. Be present. Clear the vessel. Be ecstatic. Adorn the temple. These are beautiful. 44 cards in here. I absolutely love this. Sedona Soul Fire, Tess White Hearse. This is stunning deck. I just, oh, oh my gosh. Sorry about that, Cosmic Dancer, as I'm dancing through this thing. Hopefully my phone will not die out. I wanna quickly get a message for all of us who's watching as we're all cosmic dancers doing this dance, what is the message for us? What are the, what's the message for us? I just love the messages, I love the artwork. I love the cosmic dancer. It had me a cosmic dancer. It had me a hello. It had me a cosmic dancer. It has me with the artwork and the messages. I really, I really love them. Okay, so let's see. Cosmic dancer. Hopefully my phone won't 
die out during this. Talking to answer, what is the message for anyone watching this video? <gasps> Celebrate growth and breakthroughs. Well, you can't make this up because we are growing and breaking through, are we not? Celebrate growth and breakthroughs. Okay, so I have to quickly go through to seven before my battery dies out. Celebrate growth and breakthroughs. It's time to take a break from all your hard work and to celebrate how far you've already come and how much you've learned. Lovingly acknowledge what you have achieved. It's wonderful to persevere onwards and upwards toward the pinnacle of your goals, but it's also of vital importance to stop now and then to appreciate the view. It may seem counterintuitive to take a break and enjoy the fruits of your labor. However, you deserve to have a little fun, and this will in turn create a positive flow in your life. Your mind will become clearer. Your body will receive a vital vitalizing energy boost. Your spirit will soar and your life conditions will begin to sing with harmony and positivity. Take some time today to nourish your spirit by rewarding yourself for all your hard work. While you may feel tempted to keep striving, taking some downtime for relaxation and celebration will ultimately bring fresh excitement and enthusiasm to the projects, causes, and relationships that are closest to your heart. So consider what form of festivity or reward feels most uplifting to your spirit right now. For example, you might schedule a vacation, which we might not be doing right now, but do fun things. Okay, so even if you're not sure what you're supposed to be uh, doing right now, enjoy and have compassion for and treat yourself like a treasured child. Notice the many ways you have worked long and hard. Acknowledge that you've encountered many challenges and you've met those challenges. You've come so far in your life and you deserve to rejoice in all of it. To embody the wisdom of this card, dance your celebration. Dance alone or with loved ones at home or in a public place, whether it's three minutes or three hours. Let elation flow through you while moving to music you love. Enjoy the time-honored tradition of dancing your joy. And remember, your inner child is the driving force behind your creativity, curiosity, and bold spirit of experimentation. And these are the qualities that stoke your burning desire to expand and improve. But your inner child will rebel if you don't take time off to celebrate. When you reward yourself for all your hard work, every area of your life will receive an enlivening infusion of energy and inspiration. So time to celebrate growth and breakthroughs. And I was reading through the Cosmic Dancer Oracle. 44 cards in here, beautiful cards. These were the backs of the cards, stunning. And it is from Sedona Soulfire and Tess Whitehurst, Cosmic Dancer Oracle, 44 cards in here. Absolutely beautiful, and I think it is one of my new favorite, top of the list, definitely, of Oracle decks I treated myself to while we were in lockdown quarantine. Um, I really went to town, and uh, that was my little spirit pick-me-up that I kept on doing for myself, but Cosmic Dancer. So sight unseen, I went with it just from for the name alone, Cosmic Dancer, and the pull that I had to the deck, and I love, 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 love it. I appreciate the artwork and the messages in it, too. And I'm so glad I went with it. I love it. So celebrate growth and breakthroughs. Dance, dance, dance. Have fun and um, take care. And this has been the Close-Up Review, Cosmic Dancer Oracle. Bye-bye.